Gary was not one of the guys. The executive assistant ushered me into a very impressive office with a great view. Her well-dressed and handsome boss, Gary, stood up to welcome me. Gary is a successful banker, and we had met recently at a conference where I delivered a speech titled How to Inspire Action and Commitment. After the presentation, Gary asked, Patricia, will you review one of my recent presentations to my team to see how, how I could improve? After watching for 10 minutes, I said, please remind me of how well educated you are. Although I knew the answer, I wanted him to hear himself say, I have an MBA, two advanced degrees, and every credential in banking. My reply was, Gary, then why are you such a sloppy speaker? Without a moment of hesitation, out of his mouth came words he had never articulated before. Gary said, everyone who reports directly to me was in training at the same time I was. We began our careers together. My next question was, Gary, do you think you're trying to prove that you're still one of the guys? Because you're not. You would serve them, the bank, and yourself much better if you spoke the way you were capable of. You do not have to sound as if you're showing off your degrees. Just be clear, concise, and conversational. Don't use words that sound too formal, but lose the sloppy, non-specific language. Be aware of your kind of or sort of language. Without saying it out loud, model this. If you want to elevate in your career, and have a job with my title and benefits, this is how you speak and act. They will still like you. They will also admire and appreciate you more. This simple change will help inspire more action and commitment. The end of the story. We still work together every time Gary has an important presentation to deliver. He and all of his direct report colleagues have gone on to even greater success. He's also initiated a monthly meeting open to everyone in his office for an ongoing program called Executive Conversations. I guess our conversation made a difference to Gary, his direct reports, and everyone he now influences. Consider that.